Don't be wasting your time sharpening your pencil in school or in exams. You should be buying mechanical pencils for school, but which one should you buy? I'm gonna compare the best cheap, expensive and premium options. In physics, you need to draw graphs with a sharp pencil because you have to be accurate to half a small square on that graph paper. So invest in some of these. These are just mechanical pencils. They are really good because they're always sharp enough to make sure your accuracy is high enough. In physics, we do not give you the mark if you do not use a sharp pencil. And actually, it gives you accuracy in experiments as well. This pencil I actually love. This is called a Kuritoga, and this one actually self sharpens. So as you write with the mechanical pencil, you sometimes go from a sharp line to a wider line. That's because the pencil lead wears down and you get a flatter kind of surface, a larger surface area, so your line changes thickness. This, the Kuritoga, actually every single time you press it down, every single time you press the nib in, it turns the nib ever so slightly. Pencils are designed to be rotated as you draw the lines and that's how you keep the nib exactly the same width. The Kuritoga does that every single time you press it down, it rotates the lead for you. Especially in school, it's better to have a mechanical pencil because you don't want to waste any time having to go to the bin and do the sharpening or have to ask for a sharpener from someone or get sharpenings all over your bag and your pencil case. Mechanical pencils are the way forward. It's back to school and I recommend that you prioritize having some mechanical pencils in your pencil case. But which one should you buy? This one is the Bic. 0.7 millimeter and it's HB and this one is the Kurutoga and it's 0.5 in fact and it's also HB. The difference is though that these cost £2.50 at the time of this review for a pack of five and this Kurutoga costs $11.99 for a pack of two. So why does it cost more and should you actually pay for that? Well, the difference is that this one is just pushing out the pencil lead, but this one has a little mechanism in it which actually turns the pencil nib. Now this would be more interesting to you if you are interested in drawing than if you are just looking for some cheap pencils for your bag. <laughs> I don't both to be honest. But this one, every single time you do a line, it actually turns the pencil around. It turns the pencil lead around. And that should mean that every line you draw has the same thickness. Like that. Whereas when I use the same thing with the Bic, the lines actually get thicker as I go. Because what I'm doing is I'm wearing out the pencil lead and making that slight, making that slight chiseled edge which means that you get the different size. So what you should actually do with all pencils is as you make lines, you should twist your grip on them. That's why pencils come with this hexagonal kind of profile. But this Kurutoga actually does that for you. So every single time you press down, there's a little mechanism in there. There's a little mechanism in there that as you press it, See, it actually spins around so it rotates the pencil for you which one would I buy well I've got both <laughs> if you're someone who really really likes to have absolutely perfect line weights if you care loads about your line weights and how neat your diagrams are then I definitely would recommend the Kurutoga it's a lovely pencil to write with and I'm really glad that I did buy them if you just want to have some mechanical pencil in your bag so you never have to worry about sharpening then I would definitely just go for the inexpensive big option you can also buy them in big tubs and you can buy them many at a time and they could they represent really good value you should definitely buy some mechanical pencils though because well a you never have to worry about sharpening and b when you actually draw graphs you need to use a sharp pencil because you need to be as accurate as possible with your lines if you think about a piece of graph paper a piece of graph paper actually has a two millimeter grid on it and if you use a pencil which is not sharp you could easily draw a line which is thicker than one millimeter. And that means that actually you could be inaccurate to the point where you won't get the mark. In a graph for GCSE or a double physics, you need your cross to be within one small square on a piece of graph paper. So if you have a mechanical pencil, you can guarantee that your pencil is always sharp and ready to go. And 
who likes sharpening pencils anyway? So that was just a quick review of some pencils. If you like that, let me know in the comments, which one would you buy? Would you buy the Bic simple mechanical pencil or would you buy the Kuru Toga for the luxury of having it twist the pencil lead as you write? <laughs>actually uniball does a whole range of these kurutoga pencils and being a bit of a stationary geek i thought i'd try out this one it's the roulette it comes in gunmetal or this nice brushed aluminium look and specific to the roulette is that nice textured grip so if you're the type of person that likes to look after your stationery and enjoys really nice stationery. I definitely recommend this upgrade from the plastic version. It's the same mechanism inside, but it's got that slightly nicer build and quality of finish. These are both 0.5 millimeters, and I do prefer 0.7. So let me know if you'd like to see a review of the Kurutoga 0.7 versus the 0.5. So my conclusion is I absolutely love these, but if it's not that important to you, then these big mechanical pencils are still absolutely brilliant for everyday use. And if you're just looking for a pencil for schoolwork, just an HB pencil, then you need to have a mechanical pencil. For drawing, yep, get the real deal, get the wooden pencils, use a sharpener, but just for everyday use, mechanical pencils are what you need. This is Gorilla Physics where we do GCC and A-level physics tutorials and we also do exam technique and study tips. But also, from time to time, I'll be doing things like this, which is school gear reviews.